purpose a 1972 911T Coupe. What a lovely car. Uh, the car is largely original paint. Uh, we'll walk around with a paint meter in a minute. The car's never been in an accident. It's never been rusty, wrecked. It's always been garage kept. It's a four owner car. We have all the documentation since it was brand new, including the window sticker, original bill of sale, original purchase agreement, original security agreement where he borrowed money to buy this $93 or $9,500 car. Let's see, I said window sticker. Uh, serviced booklet. Uh, all the numbers match on the car. The numbers are written in the booklet. We have the original manual, original tools. We have a file of every service done and performed since 1972. All the major services have been done. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Has service tickets all the way through to current date. Well serviced car, well documented car. Air conditioning, sports seats, One of the best documented Porsches I've had come through. See how straight the car is. Note how straight all the lines are. Body panel lines are good. Gaps are perfect. As they would be and as they should be. Perfect gap here. Seventy-two with the oil filler door in the right rear quarter. Again, good gaps. Garage kept car. Everything is crisp, sharp. All the rubbers are supple. Has not been left out in the sun to grow dry. All the bright work is in good condition. Paint. For being an original paint, the car has very few chips, no door dings. Again, very crisp car, well cared for. Few little door uh, rock chips on the nose, as you would expect, because it is an original paint car. There you go, you can see the reflection here. Uh, they've been brush touched up, and you step back, you don't see them at all. Fenders are in good shape. Again, good bright work. All the trim pieces, turn signals. Wheels are in nice condition. Interior, the sport seats are in good condition. Sport seats, by the way, are on the window sticker. No cracks in the dash. Shelf is in good shape, as is the headliner. Has both pockets. This one's a little baggy, but it's there. Carpets are original. Has an old Midland radio. Remember the Midland radios? AM, FM. Good rubber, good seals. cards are tight jams are clean open up the engine compartment just clean and tidy as the rest of the car stickers are here. One of the things I wanted to do was use the paint meter. Of course you know Porsche paints up to 5.5. There's the roof. The right rear quarter. 
deck lid, left rear quarter, left door, It looks to me like they painted the fenders, which are original. There you go. And they blended into the doors. Original. Original. The reason I say that, we have different readings on the door. All right, let's go on over to the other fender. I think we already did the hood. Put the car up on the put the car up on the wreck. Show you the underside. All right, here we are at eye level on the lift. We can clearly see the uh, lenses are all clean and sharp and crisp on the car. Gaps are good. Touched up rock chips here and there, but uh, original paint on the hood. So I did speak with someone and they had repainted the uh, front fenders uh, just for blemishes and they did blend into the doors. So no damage history, just blemishes. Look how straight it is. How nice the gaps are. Car was a southern car. No accident history. Wheels are in nice shape. gaps again and straight panels I'd say that's a fairly pure car not a restored car, just a well-preserved car. Good wheel. Straight panels. As we've noted I took pictures. Undersides of the doors are all clean. Not rusty, can't see through the light. Okay. We'll lift it all up in the air. All right, here we are on the underside of the 72. Again, not a rusty car. See how clean those suspension points are. Battery boxes are clean. See if I can't get you a good view. And clean, not rusty. Pans are in great shape. haven't been bottomed out. You can tell the car has been sitting cobwebs everywhere. But no rust. Jack points are clean. Again, I photographed the bottoms of the door so you can see that they are clean and uh, not rusty. car currently has a valve cover gasket that is leaking and as soon as we're done with the videos the car is going to a shop to have that taken care of let me get a light down here okay extension only goes so far uh, nice uh, brake lines braided brake lines engines fairly dry Turn tubes are dry. These seals back here are dry. But it's wet here 
and it's from this valve cover gasket which we will take up and repair and if there's something else we'll take care of it but it's a pretty dry motor it certainly runs well like a well serviced Porsche all right we'll take it down and go